The 8 News Now I team uncovering what led up to a smoke shop robbery turned stabbing and then the consequences for the teens who did it. It's a story many viewers have responded to and only our camera has been in court as the teenagers responsible for the crime face a judge. The I team's Vanessa Murphy has more today from juvenile court. While the teen who was stabbed remains in the hospital, the other two teens learned their fate here in juvenile court. The judge sending one of them to Spring Mountain Youth Camp, the other to a juvenile correctional facility. We also learned more about both of their histories and how their parents say they repeatedly tried to get them help. His story alone would be an amazing movie of what happens to a child, how it happened, and how it went through the whole system, and he ended up here. These are the adoptive parents of this teen seen on video at a Las Vegas smoke shop robbery on August 3rd. Okay. The store owner stabbing one of the three teens, the other two running. I know what I did was wrong and I regret every bit of it. The teen's attorney saying he was exposed to drugs while in his mother's womb. The court previously gave you an opportunity. Judge Sonny Bailey acknowledging how he was abused by his biological parents, beaten so badly at six years old, he was unrecognizable. His adoptive parents saying they've tried to get him the services he needs to cope with the trauma without success. Unfortunately, the systems in the state don't, they're not good for that. From self-medication to previous run-ins with the law because of a bomb threat and a weapon, Judge Bailey pointing to the chances the teen has already had and sending him to a juvenile correctional facility. The teen seen holding the door in the video also offering an apology. I apologize, not only to the store owner, but to everybody that was affected by my actions. Judge Bailey sending him to Spring Mountain Youth Camp, his father pointing to the loss of two family members to murder and also saying he tried to get his son help. I'm reaching out to the courts, asking, not for mercy, leniency or any of that, but asking to get the proper help. I need to save my son from becoming a statistic or a full-fledged member of the penal system. Now, the long-term injuries for the teen who was stabbed are not yet clear. His lawyer says he is expected to need to go to a rehab center after he's released from the hospital. Reporting from Juvenile Court, Vanessa Murphy, 8 News Now.